The first, like, minute of this video is gonna be me telling you the sky is blue, basically. Everything the New York Knicks do from here moving forward needs to be centered around Kristaps Porzingis, their star power forward, who seems like his offensive potential is through the roof, but he's also got that New York attitude because the dude may be slim, but he'll go right at you, man. And he's got an attitude about him, he'll trash talk you. He just fits in perfectly with the New York mentality. Now, unfortunately, the team around him is constantly in a state of what the hell is going on right now. But I do think with the New York Knicks' upcoming first round pick, which is going to be at number eight, there is a certain point guard in Dennis Smith who we'll be talking about soon here, who I think could bring in a lot more excitement, talent, as well as a point guard who might be able to fit right in with uh, Perzingis. Because given his skill set, having a ball handler and a playmaker who can really uh, create for other guys would benefit him quite a bit. But of course, they do have a Carmelo Anthony situation going on. I mean, I have to assume that he's not going to be on the roster for too much longer. I mean, the relationship between him and this Knicks team has been pretty soured at this point. Um, I mean, I'm definitely not on Phil Jackson's side with the way he's acted throughout the entire thing. But the reality is it's still a situation they're in. And you have to assume they're going to be looking to move him over this offseason. It makes sense for him given his age and on top of just what they're doing. Uh, as a team in the direction they're going in and how long it's going to take them to build a winner, hopefully. Although a weird part of me thinks he might still be on the team next season because of, I don't know, just a weird part of me thinks Carmelo Anthony is just meant to be a New York Nick for some strange thing. But anyway, this team needs a new point guard. Derrick Rose is a good dude, but the depletion of his abilities through lower body injuries, I mean... Not as athletic as he once was. The three-point shot is not a thing. Defense, playmaking. He's just not really known for these things for where he's at. He can put up some decent point totals, but does it really make the team any better? I don't think so. But Dennis Smith, who is uh, supposed to be one of the better point guards coming out of the draft this season, and the guy who is going to probably be there when the New York Knicks are selecting, this might be the dude they need. First and foremost, the moment he enters the NBA, besides John Wall, Russell Westbrook, and probably Damian Lillard, I don't think there's anybody else who's clearly more athletic than Dennis Smith will be. Dude can fly up and down the floor, his verticality is through the roof, he'll finish at the rim effortlessly, seems like someone who can beat other guys in one-on-one -on -one situations. And there are some questions to him just because of how his college season went, but his coach sucked and his teammates around him weren't very good either. And immediately, the pick and roll tandem that he and Perzingis can put together could be really impressive and difficult to defend. Like I mentioned, Perzingis has shown no problems at all with attacking the rim, finishing, catching an alley-oop. And that was with Derrick Rose as his point guard, averaging like four assists this a game. You have a guy like Dennis Smith, who could actually put some fear into the defense. I mean, Porzingis could profit off of that, and then some. Not to mention his shooting ability. I mean, these two can pick and roll or pick and pop. So that gives you a whole lot of versatility, just with your two main dudes. And given how good Porzingis has been, without a real creator on the team and how he stepped up with his three-point shot. Dennis Smith could really make his life easier. They can make each other's lives easier, really. And if for some reason Carmelo Anthony is on the team next season, I could see his off-ball stuff just actually being a thing. I mean, when we see him in the Olympics, he's more of an off-ball player, letting everybody else do their thing, and he just kind of spots up. Depending on how big of an impact Dennis Smith would make early on, that could be a thing for him, but, you know, Melo's age is still a question. But then we also got to look at Willie Hernan Gomez, who's been a pretty good center for the Knicks, emerged last season for them, making significantly less money than Joe Kim Noah. Sorry, Knicks fans. Um, you know, definitely not the offensive potential that Przingis has, because Przingis is a great shooter, and he shows signs of, like, creating his own shot. Hernan Gomez is not that, 
but he seems like a center who can finish down low and get up there enough to catch alley-oops and I mean between Dennis Smith, Hernan Gomez, and Perzingis like I could see an actual like horn set between those three guys where it could result in either Smith or Hernan Gomez finishing at the rim or Perzingis finishing from well anywhere because the dude can shoot from anywhere but there are some other concerns with Dennis Smith what's his jumper gonna be he wasn't terrible from three in college but he's not like a natural shooter either it is something he's gonna have to work on here's hoping he can at least be respectful from there the moment he walks into the NBA but I mean who knows you, you see sometimes where guys are okay from three in college and then they either drop off or they take off so we're just gonna have to wait and see he has the tools to be good defensively given just his physical nature but there's a difference between being able to play defense and knowing how to do it and being able to play NBA defense as well so these are just things that you ask of every rookie you know how much of an impact can you really make right away and defense and shooting would be a big thing for that but back to Carmelo Anthony obviously it would benefit them to trade the guy just because of where they are and where he is in his career depending on what you could get for him whether it be a, a young shooting guard maybe just another small forward who can take the role from him and be more of like a team guy or whatever and fit into what they have in terms of age that could really uh, set you up for having at least a, a well-rounded roster for the Knicks, but we don't know what the Carmelo Anthony trade. But we do know that Dennis Smith, while there are some questions about his character and at times over-dribbling or whatever, the college year was not the best for him for a myriad of reasons. I do think he could be pretty damn good in the NBA. He can be an awesome pick-and-roll partner with uh, Perzingis. I also think he could just make Hernan Gomez's day easier as well. You have three young guys for the Knicks who are exciting, but then there's also the Carmelo Anthony trade who could bring in more talent. And drafting Dennis Smith could set the Knicks up for uh, looking good in the future.